His name was on the list of Hamas officials that Israel had vowed to eliminate. Saleh al aruri was one of the co-founders of the group's military wing. And as second in command to Hamas's political leader, Ismail Haniyeh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had threatened to kill him before the war even began. The deputy leader spends almost 20 years in various Israeli prisons and had since then been behind the expansion of Hamas in the West Bank. We must defend our people against settler attacks on our villages. We must defend our people against the aggression of the occupation. Our message to Netanyahu, you will lose, just as former Prime Minister Sharon lost, and the annexation project will not pass. Israel accused Hamas's number two of being the mastermind behind several terrorist attacks. Al Aruri admitted in 2014 to abducting and killing three Israeli teenagers from a West Bank settlement. And he was one of the founders of the Qassam Brigades, which planned and carried out the attacks in the south of Israel on the 7th of October. His family home in the West Bank was destroyed by Israeli forces in October. Al Aruri had been living in exile in Lebanon for several years.